Well, I feel like just yesterday we're, we're in Toronto, we're on set of this movie, and now it's it. Yeah, it's it done. Is. How does it feel? <laughs> uh, well, we had a great screening yesterday. I think uh, the you know the TIFF audience is like one of the is, our, is one of the coolest audience. They're so generous, and mm -hmm. there's uh, there's nothing precious about them being there. They if they like the movie and they're enjoying themselves, they they show it and they're generous with that. So I, I feel that we had a great screening. Amazing, and the movie is absolutely incredible. I, Thank what you. I, what I love what you do with these these really cool blending shots, where it kind of really just, you think you're watching something, and it kind of turns into something else. How hard is it to pull something like that off? I think more and more the way I plan films is I do storyboard some stuff, and and mm -hmm. it's really important to let some freedom go for like other shots and letting the actors fill in the screen and being able to follow them and go where they want to go. But those little elements are are pre-planned, obviously. But cool, I, cool. guess, I guess that the scale, the nature of the scales, where you you don't know if you're watching something microscopic or yeah, yeah, or, yeah. or grand, grandiose, relates also to the elasticity of time. I think in our film, and that's something I realized only later, though. As I was doing that, you kind of get a feel for that. Oh, that'd be cool to get get this weird confusion. And for me, it's like it's a parallel between the confusion of how we relate to time as well. And you also kind of mess with time a little bit on, on the slow mo scenes. There's yeah, we got some really beautiful slow motion scenes that are almost like were those like all like doctored at all altered? Did you need like via like VFX on that because it's almost like so perfect. Most like, how did you capture those moments? Uh, there's this this really cool toy that uh, you know we're 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 adults with like just more expensive toys. There's this cool phantom camera that shoots wow. at a thousand frames per second, but obviously. Uh, like, it, 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 some some shots weren't slowed down enough, so we tweaked that in post production as well. But even like getting that shot, like getting that like tennis ball spinning perfectly in this, like how, like we just blasting tennis balls for like eight yeah. hours trying yeah. to get that absolutely. to hit right center. Absolutely, absolutely, that's what they did. <laughs> Literally, they were trying wow. to aim for the ball to get right, right, just right at the right point, right moment. Oh, it's incredible, and it, it really works so well, and it really brings this this, this movie to life. So uh, amazing work, and and the locations I find like in this film are. Almost like a, a character in themselves. Do you, do, you, do you think so? Yeah, there was a big there was a big parallel between our protagonist's uh, mission of building this one thousand mile long yeah. line between Kansas and New York and going through the swamps and muds, and our actual actual mission of portraying that. It was almost there was it was almost the same thing. We had to bring those twenty ton machines in the middle of of swamps and forests. Mm -hmm. We had to gain to ask access to get there. We had to bring drag our actors to the mud. And uh, yeah, I really related to the lead character actually. It's really cool. Yeah, they're, they're literally in the swamps and the forest and they're talking about, you know, the the stock market and it's just kind of that contrast and also like they're cutting down trees and mm -hmm. then to make money in the end, mm -hmm. which is like it's so beautifully poetic. This all I imagine this was all like part of the plan to begin with, or did anything kind of just happen on set? Uh, well, do, I do rem I do remember that there was one image that kind of like I guess everything evolved from that image. But I had a sense of a, a, a trade a, a, sto a stock market guy with his you know clean suit, perfectly fitted, that was going mad and would start walking in the forest and like wow. almost going deeper into the mud and he would get dirty and he was obsessed with his project of making more money and lose his mind. And I could definitely picture Jesse doing that. And I hope that we were able to capture that. But a lot of the madness of the stock market for me, the allegory of the madness of the stock market was uh, the forest, this guy in the forest and the mud and then mm -hmm. the swamps was uh, for me a, a powerful imagery of that madness. And the character of Anton, uh, man, Alexander Skarsgård, an amazing job bringing this character to <laughs> life. You. And I, mean, I know he all he went for it. He, he shaved the head yeah, and everything. Yeah. And and he's got some amazing lines in this film and some amazing questions he asks in the car scene. I think it's what's the worst thing about your job as they're talking. Uh -huh. uh, so to, to ask you that question, what what is the worst thing about your job? Or maybe on this project, yeah. what was what was what was the worst part about it? Was it shooting in Montreal in the winter time? Uh, what, what do you think? I think it's, uh, you know, I'm not kidding you, it's time. I think Is that it? there wasn't enough, well, there was like, we we need, we need had 70 locations, 70 actual wow. sets that were built, and we only had 32 days to film, and we were doing company moves every, you know, we had one to two company moves every day. Oh, wow. And we, the, I think we stayed on a single uh, location only once did we stay more than a single day. So it was really intense to try and do the film. Well, you pulled it off, and it's it's beautiful. Oh, thank you, so man. thank you so much. The only thing is, I didn't get a call to be in it, so I'm a little upset. About Next that. time, <laughs> <laughs> the, the sequel. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, thank you. you thank you so much.